Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Kotobukiya RFX 1-6 scale Dark Knight Rises Batman statue. That's right, based on this, his appearance in the third movie in Christopher Nolan's Batman saga comes this really beautifully done 1-6 scale pre-painted model kit. So Batman comes in this really nice window box packaging, which fully showcases the figure within. Decoed all around the box are images that we've seen straight out of some of the advertising for the film, including the crumbling building scene on the side there that's got the bat insignia in the middle. And then the back of the box gives us a look at some of the different angles of the Batman uh, model kit inside, as well as gives us a description on the character. All right, so let's take a look at this 1-6 scale piece outside of the packaging. Now this particular piece here is in the 12 inch tall scale, 1-6 scale. Uh, it's pre-painted, so you don't need any painting, anything like that. And it is referred to as a model kit, but it is very much more of just a, a statue piece ready for display. There's no assembly required on this thing whatsoever. It comes out of the box all ready to go. Now it does have one interchangeability feature for some different display purposes, which we will get to in just a bit. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual details on this. The sculptors at Kotobukiya have done an amazing job of perfectly recreating the way Batman appeared in The Dark Knight Rises. You can see how intricately detailed his costume is with all of the armored pieces looking perfect on the bat suit there. You can see it's got some great coloring going on. It's not just a straight black. Looking at the armored pieces of the chest of the bat suit, you've got some great grays and blacks all mixed together. And there's some different textures in there. Uh, of course, we've also got the bat symbol right there across his chest. And what stands out really nicely on top of that is the gold finish of his bat utility belt right there over the black armored suit. And then he is also standing on this really nice rocky base. Now what's really cool about this rocky base is if you kind of tilt it upwards looking down at it, you'll notice that there is a bat signal kind of hidden in that rocky display. It's really cool and it's very reminiscent of that artwork we saw for the film with kind of the crumbling buildings with the bat signal hidden in between it. That's exactly the same kind of effect we have here. The way the rocks are crumbling, we've got a bat signal in the middle. And what's really neat about that is the little bat signal lights up. There are included batteries with this, and there's a little switch on the back of the display base. So by flipping the switch, it ignites the bat signal in the base below. It glows nice and bright. It's a really clean white glow. And it's really neat because if you display this Batman statue in the dark, you've got that glow of the bat signal kind of coming up onto the Batman statue. So it's a really cool effect. All of the details on this statue are really nice. Even looking at the head on this, it's a great likeness of Christian Bale, even though all we can see is the mouth showing through. But it does a great job of capturing the look of Batman right from the film. And another thing that I really like about it is how the folds and all of the ripples in his cape are very realistic looking. You can see that the wind is blowing where he's standing and he's kind of holding the cape draped over him in a very classic like Batman pose. And it's just really great looking. You can find some different angles to display this thing at, but especially kind of angled a little bit to the side, it's just really menacing, looking like he's just towering over the city of Gotham with his bat glare staring down at the, you know, it's just, it's a really cool look. Overall, I just really love the stance and the design of the sculpt of this piece. Now, I spoke a little bit about how he's got a little bit of interchangeability going on. There are two different ways you can display this particular Batman. You'll notice that in his right hand, he is holding his grapple gun, which is a really cool looking piece. It's the same gold finish as his belt. Got lots of great sculpting going on there. But if you don't want to display him with that grapple gun, it is a removable piece. The hand is sculpted right onto it, but you can pull the hand right out of the arm. It's got a little peg piece there. And in its place, if you want to display it, is the larger EMP rifle. So that just plugs right into the same spot and it is a nice tight fit so it holds nice and firm. And then we've got ourselves the EMP rifle in its place. So if you want to 
suit your Batman up with some bigger artillery, you can display him in that mode instead. So there you go. Overall, this is a beautiful display piece. I would say if you are a fan of any of the Dark Knight films at all, any of the Nolan Batmans, or if you're just a longtime Batman fan, this is definitely a beautiful display piece that will really add to your collection. It'll look fantastic sitting up high on your display shelf, kind of looking down over the rest of your collection, ready to defend it. <laughs> it's a great piece. So if this is something that you're interested in checking out, I would head on over to www.kotous.com for information on this and all of Kotobukiya's wonderful products. You can also check them out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Kotobukiya. Until next time.